Hey, bounce that shit like oh, yeah. Bounce that shit like oh. Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? You know I love to go there. Say I'm acting light skin. I can't take you nowhere. This a place for families and drive Camrys and go to Disney. I know I've been gone for a while. It's pretty busy, y'all. So I'm back and I'm better. And I'm about to show y'all a hair tutorial today. So I recently put on my Instagram how I was gonna show y'all how I did my my um high fluffy ponytail with the curls and I also did it down like right here. So I'm gonna show y'all and I want y'all to you know give it up and just show Miss Felicia. This is Miss Felicia, okay? This is Miss Felicia. And Miss Felicia is my best friend. She's showing me how to fake a curly ponytail. Okay? And today I'm going to show y'all how I did it and what products I use for my hair to stay up and what gel I use. And the gel that I use, it is the eco styling eco styler gel and it's the green one the olive oil i like this one because it holds my hair better like it holds it up really strong and um i don't i don't really like the white one because it says it don't flake but it do flake so yeah and we're just gonna get right into the video okay so one i'm just gonna take my hair off on a ponytail so I actually I you can use a scrunchie or you can use like a hair like one of skinny um, headbands and you can just do it like this I like this one because you can really grip your hair more with this one than this one so it's up to you however y'all want to do it so what I do I just get where's my comb so I just get my comb and if y'all see me like looking this way my mirror is this way but all i do is just i comb out my hair make sure everything is untangled because you kind of need to comb throughout your hair to do this hairstyle and make sure i just recently wash my hair and flat iron it and blah 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 and all that good stuff so yeah after okay so after you just basically combed it all up, you're just gonna basically get your brush. Right here, you go to the beauty store, get a little little brush, whatever. You get a hard brush, soft brush, doesn't matter. It's gonna work. So basically, what I do, I just get the back, and I kind of just brush everything up, make sure all the mats are gone. So after I do that, I get my Eco Styling Gel. Y'all, there's no limit to how much product you use in your hair with this. You can use as much product. I use a lot because I want this to stay the whole day. And when I do use a lot, it actually stays like for three days. And then after I just have to take it out. And that's fine. That's what I want. Because you don't want to constantly use it and use it and use it. Then, yeah, it's going to get, like, really flaky. Because you got so much product. And you put so much product in your hair, like, every day. So, I start off with this amount. And I just go in the front. Because the front is, like, the main issue with me. Because when I cut my hair in my other video that I saw on my vlog, it's kind of short up here. So, I got to make sure the pieces, the small pieces are attached so it just won't be having little pieces flying all over because to not today so make sure you just get the size too and then for the back I just get a whole lot like y'all get as much as you need I so I just get to <laughs> get as much as you need for the back because I'm honestly telling you you need it 
because you don't want no strings coming apart in the back really because you really don't want to use bobby pins because you want to make this look natural as possible okay so we're just going to go in with the back a whole bunch a whole bunch in the back it didn't start working your way all, all over the head so once you feel like you touched up every spot on your head You get your brush so you get a good grip of your hair like this a little bit you know just a little grip so you can have it Where's my little scrunchie make sure you have your scrunchie because when you get a good grip then you don't want to lose it you just want to put it in the point so so just kind of brush it a couple of times on the side so you get a good grip to it you know do this a little bit kind of get you know, get the bag really good y'all because like I said you want to make this look natural as possible Okay, so now that you have, now that I have all my hair together, then I'm just going to go in, like I said, my scrunchie, make sure you have your scrunchie on hand, y'all. You need it for real. And get like a good grip. Don't let that ponytail go. Make sure you still got that good grip. You have to make it as tight as possible. If you don't want your hair that tight, then... Don't make it as tight, but for me, I do. So, after you do that, y'all, I believe it like this. Sometimes I do get a bobby pin, but I don't have a bobby pin on me on hand at the moment. And so, so now that y'all see how the back looks and everything, and the size is sleek up. So, I'm just going to go in and wait how it's made. Uh, it's the clip right here. So I use the clip in the front and it has the drawstring. And I also got it from the beauty supply store. You can go in any type of beauty supply store. If you live over here by me, I went to the one over there by Goodies, like across from Food Town. I don't go to Top Beauty because um, they be thinking that you be stealing shit. And I'm not about to steal your stuff. They be all over there. So we're just going to go in with Felicia and we're going to apply a Felicia on. So what I do, I kind of get like right here. To my head on top right here and I kind of get them clips and kind of really clip it and then after that you just drawstring it to the tightest as possible what actually make fits your head so I just go in kind of cover up so I go right here and do that and then I get the little drawstring in the back and y'all I mean this is like simple and it's very easy to do and I just drawstring it all the way as tight as possible and then what I do with the drawstring I just go around make sure you don't have the hair on top I go around and I just wrap it around and kind of it stays in place it do it don't you know come apart and I just put it somewhere in the head so what I do I just kind of play with the hair you can't put water but don't put like get it like you have a cup and you just pour on no don't do that because you got to realize this is synthetic and you don't want anything. You don't want to lose the curl pattern. So what I do, I just get it like a little bottle spray. You get one from like Walmart or the dollar store or whatever. Put some water. Put some cold water. Don't put warm water. Put cold water. Just spray it around. Not too much. You don't want to have it damp but like have like a wetness look. And so because it looks kind of dry. It looks dry now because I haven't wet it but... 
you know just wet it so it can look you know alive and not dead you know so that's how my little bun look and it's really cute and y'all I prefer y'all to like use it like when you don't feel like doing your hair if your hair is getting old and it's time for you to get your hair done and you just want to do something real quick I prefer y'all to like do like a little style like this until it's time to get your hair done I don't prefer y'all to put any gel in your hair after you just got it done because that's pointless you just waste your money for nothing I'd rather wait like two weeks I get my hair done every two weeks and when I don't feel like putting no heat to my hair I just do this and it's just it's helpful for me and it's easy and like it's just better so now we're about to go into the low bun so let's get into it okay so how I take this off I just find the drawstring it's really simple y'all like honestly unravel it take it off boom so just take the thing off dang it's tight too okay so now that you got that what's my comb so how I do it y'all I get my comb and it's gonna be kind of hard because y'all you just got that gel in your hair so just be patient just be patient so how I do it it's up to y'all y'all could do a uh, middle part this part and have it like some going this way some going that way and gather it to the back I choose this part because I don't know why I just think it's better. But it's any part y'all want to do. You can have one going in the middle and kind of like swooping it to the side and have it in the back. Or left or right side part. It doesn't matter. It's up to you how you feel comfortable, how you want to wear it. But I feel comfortable doing on this side. And this is my right. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go find that part in my head. And kind of just separate it from the rest. Now, this is how I feel. I feel like you should have a more hair on this side and kind of less hair on this because you're just trying to, you can't really get like a thick, full amount of hair and try to swoop it like that. You're gonna have to have less hair on this side and more hair on this side. That's how I do it. It's easy for me and that's how it works. I don't know for other people, but that's how it works for me. So I'm just gonna comb out this side of the hair. Now, you don't really have to go all the way back with the part, just you know, make it a visible. So, you know, you know what you're doing and people see, oh, okay, so she got a side part to the side. So, once you do it, it's going to be like this. So, that's it. So, like I said, get a lot. It doesn't matter how much you use for it. You can use as much as you can. Okay? So, I'm going to just get this. I'm going to start on this side because I need to really focus on this side. So, kind of get under it too. You know? So... Get deep under it. Especially on the side. So this is the part that you need the most gel on. Because this is the part that you really need to hold. Okay. So we're going to work on that side later. But I'm going to show y'all how I do it. So what I do, I kind of just brush the product in. And I start like brushing downwards and then just like that and once you do that then you can start working your way to the back so once you work your way to the back
then you can start gathering it. So now you got your little whoop de boop. Soup. And now you gotta wear it on this side. So you really gotta put a lot of gel on this side because you know this is where you have more hair on the side. So. Remember, get under it. Okay. I think this will be my last trying to gel because I think it's already so much gel on here, so it will lay down easy. Okay, so now I got that. I'm gonna go in with my brush and really like brush it out. Like y'all, you really have to brush it out because you don't want no lumps in your head or no bump, bumpy parts in your head. You want it to all lay down like the rest. Like you don't want to have one part laid and then the other one just like <laughs> a bump. I'm like, no, it's not cute. Okay, so we're just gonna brush it, swoop it to the back. Make sure you lay down the back part too. So, once you get a good handle of it, you just want to brush it at the same time. Make sure you get that good. Don't forget about your soup over here. And remember, make sure. Where's my hair tie? See, you gotta have a hair tie on here. And I can't find it. I missed it, you guys. Oh, where is it? Is it right here? Yeah. I'm gonna find it. Give me a second. Found it. I was sitting on it the whole entire time. So, let me see. Alright, now I got it in my hand. I'm gonna still brush it. So, now my hair will be out of place. You can brush as many times as you want, trust me, until you feel like you got everything gathered. Remember, make sure you have a good grip on your point so it don't let it go. And make sure you just have a little point at the back, like right here. Okay, so same thing as I did for the high ponytail. I just get the clip right here. Get the clip and I'm going to just turn this way so y'all can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to get the clip right here and I'm just going to go in and kind of get low right here. Kind of get in the... And then after that, after I see that I covered the my little ponytail in the back, I'm gonna get the drawstring and draw it up as tight as possible. And then I'm just gonna turn, twist it around so it can stay in place. Okay. And there. And remember, fluff it up. Get like a little bottle of water. Spray it on there. You know, kind of fluff it up. You don't want it to look all flat and stuff. So, and another thing. So, that is it. So when, if you're doing this at night and you want to like slick your hair down, you know, get like a little scarf, tie it down, or if you're just doing it in the morning, this uh, Eco Styling Gel, it really, it doesn't matter 
you can use it at night and you tie it up or use it in the morning you can use it in the morning before like you get in the shower in the tub tie it up and by the time you're done after shower it's gonna be dry it's gonna be a one so this is my tutorial of how I did my high bun and low bun hair tutorial I hope y'all like it please subscribe down here and if you have any questions you can contact me on my Instagram snapchat Facebook on slate to persuade and if y'all have anything to ask or have any requests on different hairstyles I got you and I love y'all and you better slay then I'm quick cut a nigga off so don't get comfortable look I don't dance now I make money moves say I don't gotta dance I make money move if I see you now speak that means I don't fuck with you I'm a 